Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So I think as most of you know, I'm a big proponent of open stance, that modern forehand, modern kind of big game tennis. Um, but I gotta kind of expel the myth today that for all you players out there who are ripping the open stance forehand, you know, we gotta make sure that we don't just think that that's the only way now to hit our forehand in every situation we encounter. I think you guys, you know I love Federer, but not just Federer, pretty much every pro, when they can use open stance, I think they use it a majority of the time, but you guys have to make sure you're not so hard-headed about using it all the time that you're using it in situations where it's gonna hurt you. And that's what I wanna go over today is kind of point out those couple scenarios where the more neutral or step-in stance is absolutely a better play than open stance would be, okay? So let's jump right into that. The first situation where a step-in forehand makes a ton of sense or that neutral stance is when the ball comes kind of right at me and it's relatively low. I think what you guys will see as Mark tosses this in, I'm gonna do it first out of open stance and what should be pretty glaring to you is that I don't have the ability to reach to the ball very well out of open stance. So in order to put you know, a, a better strike on the ball with this low shot that's coming into me, notice how if I go to that neutral stance, how much more I can get on the tennis ball. So that's the first one, and you guys will see that when you watch the pros warm up in their matches, a lot of times they're keeping the ball directly to one another in the warm up. They're not doing a ton of side to side. So when you see the ball coming right at the pro's body in the warm up, watch out for that. You'll see it where they just turn and step in because it's not really an open stance shot at that point. Okay. Secondly, and I've, I've devoted a couple full lessons to this shot that I'm about to dive into, but this is another one where open stance just does not work very well. And it's the shorter approach shot that does not have a ton of height under the ball. So as I'm running in, if I were to try to go to open stance, again, the reach is just not there. And that, that you know, would put me in a position where if I tried to stick with open stance here and barely get my racket on it, I don't feel that confident about going into net now because I've probably just popped the ball up and all of a sudden I'm retreating. So that's not really modern tennis or big brand tennis, even though you guys are trying to hit that shot out of open stance. So the way to play that one again is more neutral, but one thing you can tack onto it is that little skip step where you guys hop in off that front foot and carry your momentum forward. It's gonna improve the strike and advance your position to get you up to the net and be more comfortable for that first volley. All right, so Mark's gonna toss one in. Here we go. Let's take a look at that one more time. You guys can see how much better of a strike I can put on that ball out of that neutral or step in stance, okay? So, it's basically the, the rule here is we can't be naive. When we learn something new that we love, which open stance is something I think a lot of us love, we gotta make sure we don't latch onto it so much that we kind of just blindly use it in every situation, okay? So those two right there definitely start working that step in forehand for the low ball at you at the baseline and that lower approach shot, all right? So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you guys have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You guys will find the link to three free courses Mark and I have put together. I think you guys will find those really, really helpful as well. Okay, so until next time, be well, and we'll see you soon.